distinguished Mayor Adrian O'Mac, uh, who has the vision, who has led the city since 2014. And so all the construction you're seeing, all the development that you're seeing is under his leadership and his watch. Mayor Mack. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. First, I want to thank the members of the governing body who, without their support, we will not be able to do all that we're doing here in the city. It's because of the great partnership that we had with members of the governing body that we are able to move our city forward. And certainly, we can't do what we do without the confidence that developers and investors have in our city. People invest in leadership. And so I am fortunate to be in this place at this time, being the leader of our city. We have present here and today members of my administration, members of the cabinet, and they all do a wonderful job. I don't do it by myself. So I want to thank all of our um, directors who are here and who continue to make a difference as we work to move this city forward. I want to, yes, you can clap. I want to thank Kevin Cody, who has been instrumental in some of the development that we have here in the city. Just right over here, on my left, your right, um, we have the $50 million investment that is moving very, very well. And we cut the ribbon on that a few months ago. And that's just an indication of what is happening in our city. And to Jack Klugman, who you will hear from later in the program, I also want to thank you for the confidence that you have in our city. I want to thank Wawa for being a part and for understanding and seeing the opportunities that are here. So I am very excited to welcome Wawa to the city of Plainfield, to this part of our city, and all of the developers who see Plainfield as a place where they can come and invest and do business. We're just stone throws away from our Netherwood train station. And we have a lot of activity that is happening in the city right now. And there's a lot more that will be happening later this year. There'll be major projects that will start construction this year. And so I know how fortunate we are. I know how fortunate and blessed I am to be leading the city at this time. I want to thank the members of the boards that play an instrumental role in making sure that these applications are, are um, vetted and approved and that we make it as seamless and as easy a process as possible. We try to clear every hurdle that one might imagine and make sure that the process is as smooth as possible. And so I want to thank everyone. I want to let everyone within the sound of my voice carry the message that Plainfield is open for business. We are friendly. We make it easy to do work here. And we're going to continue to embrace those who see our city as a place to come and invest. And so this is a wonderful opportunity for the city. Our members of the governing body, you will hear from the council president, who will introduce his colleagues. And I'm not going to start naming the names of the members of my administration. You know who you are. We're doing a wonderful job. All of the staff members that are here, everyone that is here, is making a difference. I want to introduce um, Jeff Smith, who is here representing Assemblywoman Linda Carter, who couldn't be here today. And so, Jeff, I welcome you on behalf 
of Assemblywoman Linda Carter. And with that, I turn it back over to our our <laughs> director, <laughs> Barry Jackson.